What's going on guys? All right, so we're gonna keep it super basic right now. We're just gonna do this gas tank lid door or gas tank door or gas tank lid. So I've already taken the vinyl off and it was wrapped in Avery Satin Pearl White. We're gonna be doing this in Vivid's new uh, Gloss Riviera Blue. Let's start by prepping the service, all right? So I'm gonna show you a little technique which kind of helps this section right here. Just want to pop open. There we go. Not sure why it won't pop open. Let's, let's clean the inside. So I'm just using a little bit of isopropyl alcohol right now. It's 99% diluted, about 25%. So we're looking at about 75% right now. Don't need much more than that. And I'm gonna put that back. All right, so you can ask yourself, should we do this on or off the car? I like doing it on the car, helps quite a bit. And because that's because it's mounted. So when things are mounted to a panel, it tends to help tremendously. All right, let's cut that little bit off. Let's get something around the same size, a little bit bigger, of course. This is the most, probably the most basic part of your car you can do on most cars. You don't even have to take it off in most cases. Should be good, should be good. All right, so what I'm going to do is start by laying the top, all right? So we start by laying the top and then once I get just to this corner right here, what I want to do is I want to pull it over, okay? What that does is create less bunching up of film right here, so I have a lot less slack. What I can do is if I want that a little bit more exaggerated is add a touch of heat and just stretch it out across that section right there. So let's finish off the rest of this up here. So I'll do the same to the other side. And you can see that when I'm doing this, I'm taking the film and I'm stretching outward, all right? Because I want to shrink all this back if I've, if I've stretched it. But all I want is the stretch to come around the corner here. That's the main thing. And I want to stretch, shrink all this back right now. Yeah. That really is not as loud as it sounds. It probably sounds really loud when it hits the car. All right, so I've relaxed it. Got a little wrinkle there, let's get it out. There we go. So, I'm gonna show you what happens. So now that we have stretch around the corner here, we're gonna have, I'm gonna show you it actually, so you can see a little bit better. You probably can't see from that angle. So let's take a look at it, right? So you can see that the vinyl actually is pulling itself in around the corner. If we have too much slack here, what happens is that you start to get fingering when you go to trim this away and then go to roll it around. Now what will happen is when I heat it and shrink it, it'll actually wanna ro roll itself around on its own, most of the way, which is going to help reduce the amount of slack that we have left over. So it's a little tiny trick, all right? So for those of you who just want to wrap your doors, your gas door in carbon fiber, perfect. You can do it really nice and impress all your friends. So from here, I'm just gonna trim on the outside. Now I'm trimming on the quarter panel side of things. I want to be a little bit careful because we've already wrapped it, but even if it was paint, you still want to be careful. When it comes to trimming, what you want to do is find a guide, all right? Get your 30 degree blades, I find they're the best. And find a guide. So the reason why we cut on the opposite side is that it's more or less a guide. Should be good. Perfect. 
circuits. Before I do anything, what I want to do is pop it open, if I can, there we go, and I'm going to leave it open and I'm going to heat it while it's open. So I hope, let's see if you guys can see this here, what happens when I heat this top corner here. I won't be able to see the bottom one very much, but let's do the top one. All right, so it just actually hugged itself on its own right there. I want to fix this up a little bit right here because it's folding over itself, but generally, look at that. It's just, yeah, I have to touch it. It's a little magic trick, right? Smooth it out a little bit with your fingers, but now I don't have any, and I'll show you the back side of it. I don't have a wrinkle there anymore. I won't, it's impossible to get a wrinkle actually. For the rest of it, you want to work the film around little by little, adding heat. Probably want to use a wrap glove so your finger doesn't stick. When it comes to uh, gloss films, your fingers will stick slightly more than the matte film. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to actually, what I want to do is prop this open. Perfect. So that I have good access to this right now. It folded itself over before I got, I got to it. Let's fix that up. You know what? I'll just take it off so you can see. Comes off pretty easy, actually. There's a little tab on the back. I just don't want to drop it. There we go. All right, so there's a little tab on the back of this. You just pry it. So we can see this right now. Let me just mount the heat gun to the car. This way we can see what's going on. All right, so again, we have tension running around the corner here. What happens when we heat it? It shrinks around. So it's already shrinking around the corner. I'm just gonna help finish it off a little bit, all right? Another little trick is the warmer you make it when you're doing these edges here, the easier it is gonna be to get the wrinkles out from the corners. And we're just rolling the film. So we start by running it slightly around, and then we roll, we roll it once we get to a certain point. So somewhere around there. So I'm gonna start pushing down, adding heat, pushing down, rolling it around, all right? So in my opinion, having the gas tank area look nice is important because people go and fill their car up a lot. Once, twice, seven times a week, who knows? So they're gonna be seeing this area all the time. So we can see it's not, it's not zigzagged. There's a little bit of excess on the bottom here compared to the rest, but it's not jagged, it's not wrinkled, it doesn't look ugly, there's nothing wrong with it at all, all right? And it looks fantastic. Cool. Let's turn this off. So that is one little technique that I wanted to show you guys. I hope you're enjoying the color, by the way, because I haven't even actually done any videos on this color yet. I will do them, I promise. Um, but yes, I wanted to show you that little technique. I'm gonna do the door handle next after this. And that way you can see the door handle, pretty straightforward. It's a little bit more trimming when it comes to the door handle because it has a little chrome piece that runs to the middle and it has a separate piece on the back. Um, and in some cases, I'll explain the door handle thing when I get to it. But yes, hope you like the gas tank lid, guys. And uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you guys wanna see more, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, take care.